A decade ago, I rode my bicycle around the world using only the power of my legs. It took me about a year. It was a great trip, but I do kind of think, imagine if I had had a solar panel, making things a hell of a lot easier, I could have seen a lot more of the world than I did. Well, now you can actually buy an electric scooter that will enable you to just travel the world forever, simply by using the power of the sun. You don't have to roll anything out, fold anything out. And I carried a solar panel with me. It was actually bigger than the solar panel on this scooter, but it didn't do much at all. I could have just maybe charged my laptop in perfect conditions, and that was it. Things have changed a lot since 2012. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm the Electric Viking. The S60 solar scooter has a pretty weird, ugly looking front because it's a solar panel on the front of the scooter. It's built into the scooter itself. You know what? Who cares? Imagine how good this would be for so many of the billions of people on the planet that don't have a good means of transportation. This could be a game changer for them. Imagine if Bill Gates um, invested a bit of money into something like this, giving people the power of transportation, clean, free, not even cheap, but literally free. The S80 solar scooter takes seven to 14 hours of sunlight to fully charge. But the thing is, most of the world's population lives on what we call the sun belt. So about 90% of, so about 80% of the world's population lives in a place where this scooter would be absolutely perfect for them. How much power can you get from the sun in seven to 14 hours? Well, the company says around 35 to 70 watts, and that's enough to give the battery a range of an incredible 22 miles. I'm finding this hard to believe, but if this is true, mind my mind is blown because imagine how good something like this will be in 10 or 20 years from now. The other thing worth considering is if you park this outside, right, and you worked, say, 10, 15 miles away from your home, you could, in theory, transport yourself to work, to uni, to college, to school and back for the cost of exactly zero dollars per day. Now, of course, you need to live somewhere sunny for that to work out. The power is stored in a battery that is housed within the floorboard, as it is in most electric scooters, and has a nominal output of 350 watts. That means the S80 solar scooter actually has a decent top speed of 15.5 miles an hour, unless you, of course, go down a steep hill when you could go much quicker than that. It also has regen braking. So if you're going to use those brakes, you're sending power back into the battery. In addition to that, the price just seems to be mind-blowingly cheap considering the technology it has. It has an inbuilt GPS for anti-theft and location purposes. So if you sit your solar scooter out in the sun, uh, charging, someone comes along and says, I'll take that solar scooter, thank you very much. Well, good luck to them because it has an inbuilt, basically like an Apple AirTag. You can't get out of it unless you machine the thing open. Uh, so you can just find out where it is and go pick it up from the thief, which is pretty cool. In addition, it has a digital dash display, which shows you speed, trip distance, battery life, uh, quite a bit of information. Plus it has cruise control and even turn signals. Now you might be thinking this product sounds great, but is it actually a real thing? And actually, yes, it is. Yangsu Snail Zing Technology Snail is sort of an interesting name for a company that builds electric scooters. But anyway, reportedly stated that pricing for the S80 has been revealed in the US at 1,400 US dollars. Seems oh, honestly too good to be true. I mean, if you were traveling around Europe or something, doing a world trip, imagine having something like this with you. It'd absolutely change everything. Well, but then again, Imagine if you were a young family starting out or someone in a remote area trying to get to school and you don't have electricity at your home. That's very common in many parts of the world. This would change everything for your life. I love it. Let me know what your thoughts are 
in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.